G'day guys, JT here. Welcome back to my channel, JT's Funko Finds. So guys, as you would have seen from the thumbnail, what happened to Freddy? Um, in my recent mystery box that I got from Top Hat Customs, I was very lucky to get a Freddy Funko. Uh, but after filming and we realized what had happened, um, um, yeah, the box was a little bit damaged, which uh, was a bummer, but I was still more than happy because it was Freddy and I was very happy to keep him in my collection. Uh, but what actually happened is I went to scan him into the, uh, like the app, the Funko app, and the box came up with a completely different Freddy to what was actually inside. So um, I thought I'll reach out to Top Hat they had seen my video and they were a little bit oh danny was a bit devastated that i received a pop in such condition and um but what had actually happened is he had purchased the pop from somebody in america to add to his mystery box run so he didn't know i guess the finer details behind that the pop was different to the box uh, but very fortunate and lucky he had bought um he had two and um so he said i'm gonna send um the the proper one to you um to make up for what had actually happened um uh, then he also said i've added something else in there for you because i feel so bad um one because of the box condition and obviously because what had actually happened uh he had sent me all the photos of where he purchased the pop from which he didn't have to do but he just felt very bad at actually what happened um that he didn't know himself but uh, only investigating later um, sadly the guy he bought it from or girl um, has deleted their account so we can only imagine what had happened there um, when he purchased it from the states but um you know not going to put anything on top hat and that's why i don't put anything negative on facebook pages because it really could deter a lot of people from purchasing from um, these great australian companies so just want to make everyone know that um, danny has pretty much turned it around he has sent me an express ship box which he didn't have to do um, he's added in a pop uh, well, he's trans changed over the pop so it's the correct one and then he's actually added in something extra uh, which again he didn't have to do uh, so i did send the other pop back to him which is sad for him because he's now stuck with a pop he might customize it though um for something down the track but um yeah the the seller he bought it from did a bit of a dodgy on him um and he wasn't to know so um just want to let everyone know that if you um he did close down the mystery box run there was only eight boxes left i think and um, he said all the ones that didn't make it out, he's going to put into the next mystery box run, which um, after feedback coming in, uh, he will obviously make some changes and be a lot more alert with what had happened. But um, massive, uh, you know, kudos to Top Hat for obviously doing a first mystery box run, um, getting on top of the error that had happened, turning it around. And um, so just don't deter that from anybody. I hope um, anybody will still purchase from him for future mystery boxes and that the video that had happened recently um, hasn't stopped anybody from getting anything in the future. Uh, Cause I know he's, he did a great job to sadly what had happened was on film. And um, yeah, we didn't know until after I actually was putting it into the app. So he has sent this, um, he has added in uh, a letter which I'll read out um, because I guess he wanted everyone to know of the, the error that had happened. Um, let me crack into this. Uh, and thank you again, Danny, for getting on, on top of it straight away, not dilly dallying, making it up. You know, some companies would probably make an excuse. Um, so, hopefully, it, oh, he's wrapped them up again. So, he said there is a letter, which I cannot see, but it might be somewhere. I think he put a letter with it. Um, but great, got some bubble wrap, which is awesome. And now I will have the proper uh, Freddy that I was, I guess, supposed to get from the mystery box. Um, so we can pull him out. Oh, and that is the one there. So that looks so good. The box condition looks so good too. Um, yeah, so bummer about the error that had originally happened, but he got on top of it so quickly, um, was very apologetic, and um, 
turned it around pretty quickly. So you may have seen on the last video, it had like an exclusive Funko sticker. The number was number three, which didn't match. It was like a Funko nerd, I think. Um, but this is the one that it should have been. And he turned it around. It was a complete swap. Luckily for him, he had an extra um, that I think may have come from his own personal collection. So um, thank you again so much for jumping on and making, I guess, the making it better for what had actually happened. So yeah, like I say, don't let that deter you from purchasing from him in the future, guys. Um, it was sadly, you know, not his error. So let's have a look. He didn't have to do this, but he added in some extras, like I say. Okay, here we go. So uh, what is that? I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's done there. Um, so I guess it was an apology, but also he's added in to me. So he knows my, my name. Um, so to Jenny Lee and my partner Kate from Danny. So Merry Christmas. So I guess this is, you know, something from him to me. And I'm double checking, but no, there is no letter unless it's on the inside. Um... Well, I'll, I don't know. I'll, I'll open this one first. And we'll see what he's done, but he sh shouldn't have. I did send him, uh, you know, a mystery box earlier. Uh, I guess this could be a bit like a Christmas present. I don't know. But he didn't have to do it. <laughs> oh, of course he did. <laughs> oh, he sent me a DIY troll. <laughs> So what had happened in a Pops Galore mystery box, <laughs> cheeky bugger, um, I made mention that I wasn't big into the trolls, but um, so I just sold it. I say he's gone and, and been a bit cheeky and added a troll <laughs> uh, DIY so I can paint it, I can decorate it. Um, might leave that for Bob when she gets a bit older and she can probably do some artwork to it. But that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> he didn't have to do that at all. But that's pretty gold. Um, and this one, this is... Oh, this is a hot... Oh, is it a hot scope? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So he's got a letter on top. So let me have a look. Um, all right. Merry Christmas, uh, JT and Kate. Um, enjoy this wonderful addition to your collection. I know you wanted a bad, and after cancelling the remaining mystery boxes, I found them in number 17. Couldn't pass up the opportunity to gift it to you. Stay safe. Wash your wash your hands. And wishing you all a very prosperous, fantastic new year. I don't get the wash your hands part. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure about that one. But Danny, top hat. Um, now, if the guy is cheeky, I haven't looked yet. But I was... I may have... Oh, I won't say it if it's not because I wouldn't... But... I have a feeling I know what this could be, and it, if it is, that's just amazing, which, yeah, he didn't have to, wow, he didn't have to do that, dude, you didn't have to, mate, that is just incredible, because, um, and lo and behold, if it was box 17, that was actually my dad's birthday, so that does mean a lot already, so... You know how, I, was, I guess, in my last video, I was mentioning if I was to get any of the Freddies, I would love the one from Seattle because me and my partner had went to the Space Needle in Seattle and, um, yeah, pretty much that would have been cool as a memento. Um, I could pop it up probably next to a photo of me out, you know, out in front of the Space Needle. So, Danny, that is just incredible. Like I said, you didn't have to do that. You made up for... You didn't even have to do this to make up for... Freddy um, era, but that's just funny. <laughs> but I'm just absolutely blown away. That, you know, as you said, it's a Christmas present to myself and my partner. Um, thank you. <laughs> uh, a little bit speechless, to be honest, mate. But that's just amazing. Um, I know you mentioned you were going to do something, but you, you just didn't have to do that. It does mean a lot. Um, Box 17, close to home as well, being my dad's um birth date so that's just incredible um yeah wow <laughs> um thank you so much i'll have this on the spinner going around so you guys can see but that means the world 
um, completely blown away. Yeah, you didn't have to do it, buddy. Um, thank you, guys. So, yeah, I just want to make this video, I guess, as soon as quickly as after um, what had happened in the mystery boxes. Just so that, you know, it didn't put a bad name on Top Hat. Because I didn't intend to do that. But, obviously, there was a bit of box damage. So, um, you know, it just happened. At least it fell in my hands. And I was happy. I was okay about it. Because I know there's some, I guess, Facebook vultures out there. That would have probably gone all over his page. Blasted him. Given him a bad rep. Which, it's not deserved. Everyone is trying their best. Um, you know, and sadly that's just what happened um so thankfully i guess for top hat it was myself and i um just reached out to him and just said hey this is what happened i'm okay with it but if you ha had another one and he's like yep yeah, I'll, I'll pull it out you know and swap it out so i sent the other one back to him um but guys thank you so much for watching um make sure you do follow top hat customs over on facebook and instagram he's going to do some um mystery box runs in the future and uh, he's going to change it up a little bit as well after the feedback of, um, I guess, I, I provided from opening other mystery boxes in the past. Um, but, so, thank you again. That absolutely means the world you've done this. Uh, you can probably already tell. But, um, thank you so much, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video because I'm, I'm spun out. And, um, yeah, thanks heaps, guys. Have a safe one. And I'll see you in the next one. See you, guys.